Okay, welcome dear viewers to Hockey Feber and this uh, episode and uh, this episode is a part of what we call the last outpost. With us today we have the one and only Michael Luba. Welcome to Hockey Feber, Michael. Hi everybody. Welcome. Hi. Very nice to have you. Very nice uh, to have you, Michael. Thank you. Same. And this this will be uh, the first of totally six episodes of, uh, as Martin said, the uh, last outpost. And uh, the reason why we wanted to do this series is to uh, put the light on on the ones that ju just stand there at the last outpost. It's a uh, it's an exciting uh, spot to have, and you can be uh, be exposed, but you can also be a hero and and really have a great day. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Well, well, Michael Luba, for a short introduction of you first. You're born, Michael Luba, born 95, Montreal, Canada. He's got two citizenships, actually, Canadian and Polish. And he is three-time Polish champion, 2014 with K.H. Sanok, 2016-17 with Krakowia Krakow. And he also had the best save percentage of 95.7 the season 2017-18. And also goals against average was 1.20, which was also best in Poland. And he played there until 2019 when he went to France, start playing for Jean Berry and yes. for one season. Then the next season he joined the club that he plays for now, that is Jolet and he actually also got uh, picked that uh, season by the coaches to the all-star team. So welcome to the channel, Michael Luba. Hi. Yeah. Uh, uh, is everything good with you today, Michael? Yeah, a little yeah. bit tired. Since yesterday we started the training camp here in Cholet. Uh, it's been tough, I'm not going to lie. The first two days are, uh, are exhausting. Yeah. But, uh, but everything is good till now. It feels great to finally get started. Yes, it's true. Uh, we finished uh, in April, if I remember well. And, you know, uh, you're counting the days. You work hard in the summer and uh, very hard. You have to eat well. You have to train well. And uh, after, you you know, August is coming in and it's like, let's go back again, you know? Yeah. Uh, f uh, for us and for the US, uh, viewers, how would you describe yourself as a goalie? That's a good question. Uh, I think if it's it's good to ask someone else outside of me, but if I would take myself as a goalie, I think I'm a technical goalie uh, who really relies on reading the play too, and yeah. a goalie who likes to talk a lot with his defensemen. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and how come that you just uh, specifically uh, got to be a goalie? Was it early when you were young or...? Well, I started to play hockey when I was five, back uh, back when I was in Montreal. And I started, obviously, as a player. And uh, we were playing in the summer in a summer league. Yeah. And, uh, we were we were losing each single game. Uh, I was pissed. Obviously, even when I was five, I hate losing till now. And yeah. uh, our goalie, too, was furious at that time. I remember well. And uh, his dad came in the room, and he, ju he just said, if someone wants to try. So I looked at my dad. I said, hey, uh, can I try? And he said, why not, you know? So uh, I dressed up as a goalie. And uh, we ended up actually tying that game to two. So yeah. uh, I said, you know what, uh, let's continue. And that's actually how it happened. And um, until today, I'm still playing as a goalie. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, and and uh, what uh, have your uh, training looked like before you mentioned it in the start here, uh, your uh, own training before you were uh, getting together with your teammates for this uh, this time. What have you trained on and how uh, well? Yeah, to be honest, a little bit of everything. Uh, there is a part in the, in the summer I'm just focused on strength, upper body and uh, lower body. Then it's, you know, a lot of running uh, up the stairs uh, with the parachute, uh, on the bicycle and then hitting the ice too, twice a week. Uh, on a small ice in Montreal, three on three with players who are playing in the, in, in the Dell in Czech Republic. You know, all of my good friends that they play overseas. Yeah. Uh, get up. We play a good three uh, three on three. It's a quick game, and uh, I think all of that helps me during the summer. And uh, I've been doing it for like eight years, so uh, I like how how, how I'm prepared. Uh, I'm not tired. 
any uh, any time after in the season. So uh, I'm continuing always, and actually each year I'm trying to push a little bit more, more, and more. Mm, mm. So actually, you got uh, you have uh, some part of training constantly, but you uh, uh, sometimes just uh, increase it sometimes, or getting a lower phase uh, of the year when exactly. it's off season. Exactly. Uh, during the season, it's uh, like I could say I'm not. Uh, I'm hitting less the gym. Well, I would go to the gym, but I'm not taking a lot of weights. Uh, mm-hmm. It's more stretching or some quick, quick stuff, agility, mobility. I would do. And uh, when the season ends, uh, that's where I have that one month off. And after, I'm kicking in with uh, with a lot of strength at the gym, uh, taking more weight. I get uh, around three, four kilos more during that time, mm-hmm. because I know that during the season after, I'm just gonna stay at that same level after. Mm. Do you have like uh, before you go for, uh, for example, now to to France for the club that you play for now, Chile? Do you have a certain group that you uh, train with uh, when you are in, uh, before you go? Like you call each other and you train together in smaller groups where uh, you live? No, no, I'm actually doing individual. Uh, I had I had the chance uh, when I started to play pro. Actually, it started when I was 16. So I saw already some players, you know, in Poland and then in Slovakia. Uh, you know, a lot of good professional players, how they're doing their training camp. Then I was a little bit when I was young with the national team with the Poland. I saw some goalies there exchanging with them. And uh, I did by myself after that, you know, a little bit of effort, took some from everybody. Yeah, and yeah. Today, that's how it is. Perfect. So, uh, so uh, what would you say... Uh, because you have really have had a successful and great uh, career so far we think uh, what would be the proudest and happiest moment so far in your career would you say i think it's still uh, upcoming it's still to come uh, obviously yeah yeah well to be honest i think uh, i'm going far now uh, i'm going to my u20 with team poland mm. uh, i think it's something uh, uh, something for me, it's it's been big because it was my first time uh, I played for the Polish national team. Uh, yeah. I had some problems when I was earlier because uh, I was in Montreal. That's why I left in a certain age, at the age of 16. I went overseas there to have mm-hmm. my full years to play with for, for the Polish national team. And I think to, to spend that time with my father, I remember the world championship was in Hungary. And uh, my father flew from Montreal in that time there. And uh, we came up short. We got the bronze medal. Uh, we came up short, but I think I, I was named the MVP in that tournament, so it was uh, it was a nice achievement on that side. But we came up short from the to get promoted, and till now that's my that's my goal. And my next one it's obviously to crack the, the Polish national uh, team and to repeat that. Mm, of course. Uh, what would you say is your personal goals for this upcoming season with Cholet? Yeah, well, uh, making the playoffs. Uh, if I, I think so, we have a great team on paper. Uh, it's the second day today. It's still early, but I like the, the boys in the locker room. You guys mm-hmm. can see they're very mature. They really, they really want to get started. Uh, last year, we made a good step. Uh, the management, I think they did uh, a good recruitment this summer. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, as for me and for the club, uh, it's going to be a big deception if we don't make the playoffs. So I think uh, the playoffs is our main goal. And this is a, it's a funny league that uh, when you crack the top eight, everybody could beat everybody. So that's why I'm just saying till now, playoffs and then we're going to see. Mm. So you can say in one way, like your personal goal uh, goes into the teams. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yes. I don't care if I'm going to repeat, if I'm going to be MVP this year or not. I just want to win and I want to I want to be in the playoffs this year. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, you you said a little bit yourself. How would you describe the uh, the league that Chile plays in Division One uh, in France? It's it's going to be my third season here in D1 in France. And uh, when I started in Chambéry, I was surprised with the level because uh, I have a lot of friends that are saying, oh, I think D1 it's not that good." And actually, uh, uh, they would be really surprised. And going even to last year, I think it made a big improvement. And uh, going to this year, look at the people signing in other teams and even in ours, you can see that they have solid CVs. So I just see that, yes, imports are getting better and better, but I think the French players too are getting better and better. Uh, if 
you just see now what happened at the Olympics. France almost beat Latvia, and that game was mm. a tough game I was watching till the end. And if you just take that team uh, of France, most of them they're playing outside of France. They're playing in in Dell, Czech Republic. So it just shows that French players they're growing. The country is growing in hockey, and uh, they're going in a in a good way. So it's I think it's taking a very good step. Yeah, I. I uh, totally agree, and I was going to say that that you can see it in so many uh, ways that uh, French hockey is taking big steps. And uh, if if uh, certain players on a, or a certain league uh, does it, I think everybody else follows because you you feed of it. Like exactly, exactly. Yeah. So. And what's and what's the other good thing is I realize in France. Uh, there was not a lot of games on TV, and you want to promote the sport. But from this season, actually, they they showed that there's going to be a lot of games uh, from the yeah. Magnus, and even from our league, they're show they're going to show some games plus the playoffs, the final. So yeah. I think that's the best way to promote the hockey in France. And obviously, it's starting from little kids loving the sport and starting to play to become a hockey player after. Yeah, um, fantastic. Uh, what what would you say is the Cholet's biggest rivals in the league? Oh, the biggest rival I think is with no hesitation, Corsair de Nantes. Uh, it's it's the club who's closest to us. It's a, it's a very good team, and yeah. I, I had the chance to play in those games last year. We played them twice in the season in one exhibition, and uh, I could tell you that that if we would play them in the playoffs, would be brutal, would be hard, uh, would be a long series. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's a it's a big rivalry. It's a big history between those two clubs. I know that uh, when we're uh, we're start when you see that day on the calendar, I'm pretty much sure that both teams are looking at that date and they just can't wait to play each other. <laughs> uh, you don't need any fuel for that game. You like uh, oh, know no, no. exactly I, what to do. You just have to leave it everything on the ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. Uh, that's uh, that's what we love, uh, you know. That kind of games. Every team should have uh, uh, w- certain teams to uh, get that feeling. Exactly, mm. exactly. Uh, you are born in the classic hockey city, Montreal, uh, where many big profiles like uh, Jacques Plante, uh, Patrick Roy, uh, uh, José Theodore, and um, uh, Corey Price, just for naming uh, a few big Very profiles right, yeah. that have play, uh, played for uh, Montreal Canadiens. Do you follow them specific or do you have any certain favorite team? No, it's actually, uh, I'm following the last one you mentioned, Carey Price. Uh, I remember uh, I love to watch the World Juniors under 20, always in December when it's after Christmas uh, till New Year's. There's that special, it's the World Championship under U20. I remember Carey Price playing on Team Canada and that was the first time I said, oh wow, I love that goalie. And I was following him since then. And then luckily he was drafted by Montreal. So it was even better. Yeah. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, he's my idol till now. And uh, I love watching him. Uh, he didn't have it easy in the beginning, for sure, when he was in Montreal. But uh, what can you say now? He almost did it this year. So. Great. Uh, uh, do you follow uh, uh, the team Montreal Canadiens also or do you have do do you not have any specific no obviously uh, I think most of the people born in Montreal most of them are going to cheer on, on Montreal on the Habs yeah favorite team apparently it's it's funny when I was young well when I was like uh, three four years old I would watch with my father uh, the hockey games and obviously at that age you still don't understand so uh, my dad would tell me each time they would lose at that time uh, that I would cry and actually, mm. those years they were losing a lot, so uh, there was a lot of tears. Uh, <laughs> that so since then I don't know. It's I have this special uh, special fe- feel for Montreal, and uh, it's going to be my favorite team uh, forever. Of course. Mm. Uh, do you, what do you think about the the, the last season they had uh, in uh, 2021? It was they were really really having a good go. They started very well. Uh, like always, I would say, uh, the yeah. last couple of years they start well, and after you know there are some injuries, there are some adjustments and everything, and uh, that's one thing you see. Uh, they, I think they were the last team to qualify for the playoffs, and they lost in the finals of the Stanley Cup. So uh, 
it, it's a crazy. It's it's crazy when you just have to make the playoffs and then it's it's all about uh, you know who you're gonna play uh, and all that. So uh, for sure they shocked everybody. I think mm-hmm. nobody would uh, even me. I didn't expect them to go that far. But that's the beauty of the sport. Uh, yeah. it's, it's you know you never know what could happen on the ice. Yeah. Uh, uh, what uh, uh, except from watching a hockey match with Cholet, if you uh, go visiting Cholet, what would you uh, uh, say that we cannot miss if we uh, are visiting the city of Cholet? Uh, well, I think the the main point, uh, the the main square. It's small, but uh, it has it has their their vibe. Uh, it's it's very nice. Uh, to go take a coffee or some, let's say, some croissant here that it's big in France. Uh, and I think uh, to go watch some basketball game, they, uh, they have a very good basketball team. There are some players that they already played here and they got drafted to the NBA. Mm-hmm. So I think that's one thing to go watch. The soccer too. Uh, yes. They have a good soccer team here, even if it's the, the National League. So, uh, yeah, I think a little bit of the main square uh, and uh, and obviously the, the basketball and the soccer team too. Yeah. Do you do you uh, in the team? Do you um, uh, go out often together? And uh, I I understand it's a specific situation now with the pandemic. But if you uh, if you think uh, before like that, had had it been uh, uh, like you did things together much as a team? It it was very complicated because I came here last year and it was the the, pand- the pandemic here, so uh, it was very restricted here in France. So uh, yeah. we had we didn't have that much to do. Uh, we're looking forward to this year actually. So, uh, but who knows what's going to happen? So hopefully uh, it's going to be better and we're gonna we're going to be able to do all those stuff uh, this year. Yeah. Um, if you want to, uh, would uh, send a greeting to the Colette fans for the upcoming season. What would you uh, uh, say to them? Uh, well, I would say hi to them. Obviously, I hope everybody is doing is doing well. Uh, they had a great summer, uh, and uh, I I hope to see them soon at our at our rink uh, to come and cheer us. Because I remember when I played in Chambery. Uh, Versus them, I came here. It was full house. Everybody was in the fans, and I liked the atmosphere. And uh, I just hope uh, and see them soon, quickly at the ice rink. Yes, of course. It's uh, it's it's really what we all uh, hope for that we can have a have a full arenas with a lot of noise and and uh, sharing. Exactly. Um, and we have uh, one last question. With all your success and routine as a goalie. Uh, what would you uh, uh, give for tips to all the young girls and, and boys that uh, are playing or just uh, uh, trained by themselves as a goalie? Uh, do you have any tips how they can continue training or uh, ways to succeed? Uh, I would say don't give up. Be strong mentally and physically and just go have fun. And that's the most important. Go have fun because uh, why playing something if you don't have fun, right? So mm. go and enjoy yeah. it. And, and that's it. That's what I would say. <laughs> yeah. Like I usually fun. say, fun is the most important thing, actually. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, we are really uh, uh, happy and, and proud to have you as uh, our first guest in this series. And uh, thank you so very much for uh, being a part and uh, answering all these questions. Yeah, thank no, you so no, much. No. I thank you, thank you so much, and uh, see you soon. Yeah, we, we, we wish you all the best with all your teammates for the upcoming season with training and uh, everything, and hope that you go all the way in the playoffs. Thank you so much, it's all appreciated. <laughs> yeah, so with that we say thank you very much for all the viewers and followers and uh, we see you the next time in the second episode and then we have a new goalie and new questions have a great day and see you see thank you, you guys thank, thank you. you thank you everyone bye bye bye